everyone, this is Misty from Misty Matthews, and today I'll be doing a sushi polymer clay time tutorial for you. So here's what the little sushi charm looks like. There you go, the camera just focused. Here's these little the little fish eggs. Overall cuteness. Ooh. So I'm going to get my little piece of cardboard. So I'm working on a tablecloth. And that is why I don't have my craft mat with me. Let's get started. So you're going to need for this is some black clay, some white clay, and some red clay. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just open up the rest of this. And now I'm going to take my blade if you're younger, please be careful or ask an adult to help you. Make a nice clean cut down there, but I'm actually going to cut this little piece off of it. So now I'm just going to roll. I'm sorry I'm not showing that. I'm going to roll, but I'm actually going to cut one more slice, a little slice out of this. So now that I have a good shape, and your ball should be about this size. So now that I have that shape, I'm just going to roll it into a ball. And after it's in a ball shape, I'm just going to roll it into a cylinder. And then when it's in a cylinder, I'm just going to press down. And I'm just, and then I'm just sort of doing that, rolling it into another cylinder shape. So once, you, once your shape is sort of like this, I'm going to do the fish eggs first. So you're going to take some red polymer clay. I'm actually going to use this one. And I'm just going to take the sharp end of the blade and chop off a little piece of bread. So now I'm just going to roll it into a thin snake, like this. And I'm just going to cut off tiny little chunks. So as you see here, so you're just going to repeat this process many times as I will do this part quicker because I don't know where the pause button on this camera is. So I'm just going to do this quicker. So as you see, I'm just using a very sharp blade. And I'll just talk to you while I do this so you guys don't get bored. But so something that I wanted to ask is can you guys, guys please, it would help me a lot when you guys subscribe, so that would be awesome. If you like what you see now, you can subscribe, and that means a lot to me. Also, me and my friend have started a YouTube channel, except I don't have any videos up yet because I am actually the controller of this ch of the channel. And just to clear up some confusion, some videos... So in the Beauty Girls 100, if you, the Beauty Underscore Girls 100, if you've checked out that channel, you'll know that there is a girl named Peyton. That Peyton is actually me. So and I'm actually Sam and Leah. Or Leah's not in the video yet, but she is in the channel. But she was just out that day for the video. But um, yeah. But I'm actually Peyton in the video. But so it's not her channel. So I'm just. So, if you aren't going to subscribe, I will be in that channel, but I don't really like doing the sort of beauty sort of stuff. That's why I started my own channel. Where my channel was actually, my own channel was actually started before her, she started because she was like, I want to start one. But yes, if you do subscribe to me and you show, like I know some people are like private subscribers and stuff like that. But if you, if I could see who subscribed, um, I will sub back to you. So far, everyone that showed themselves, I did sub back to them. So if you're watching and you're subscribed, thank you. And I did sub back to you, except for my cousins. They did subscribe to me, and they actually featured my channel. So that made me really, really happy. I feature a lot of channels, though. So, so once you have all your little fish eggs onto it, this one, actually the original charm does not have as many fish eggs as you see. But now that you have that, I'm going to take some white clay and I'm just cleaning off my little board and I'm just going to roll my white clay out in a very thin snake. 
at one end. Once there's a very small little area, I'm going to take a different blade. There's my other blade, there we go. And I'm going to take this blade and cut off a tiny little chunk. I don't know if the camera can even pick that up. But if you can see, there's a tiny little piece on my blade. So I'm just shaping with my fingers. So now I'm just going to, maybe you'll see it against the black. There we go. See, there's the tiny little mouth. You can see it a little better against the black. I'm going to move back to my sharp metal blade. I'm just going to take some, and I like to make the eyes a tiny bit bigger. See, I did one eye there. Actually, I don't like that one. Oh no, I just took off the mouth. So I'm so sorry, I just <laughs> took off the mouth. So I'm just going to roll out the thin, tiny little snakes again. Tiny little chunk there. There we go. So we have tiny little mouth on again. Chop off some clay for the eyes again. Take the eye and just press it and just pressed it on. Oh, <laughs> sorry about that. Take some more clay. Sure, I am a little tiny, teeny, weeny cold. Press, oh, look at that. So then your charm is finished. I'm gonna place on this side. So now all I'm going to do is I'm going to take an eye pin and I'm just going to put it right in his little fish eggs. Up there. So then you can bake it, your charm. I'm not going to film when I bake it because that will take a while. So then you just have your little sushi charm and you could bake it. And here's how my first one turned out. So I'll just pick up the camera here. So as you can see, there it is. Very cute. So my camera is about to die because it is flashing. So I'm going to go charge it. But thank you all for watching and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Bye.